Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at the components that make up blood. Uh, we're going to talk about blood being red, and then the four main components of blood, plasma, erythrocytes, leukocytes, and platelets. Uh, so firstly I'm going to start by saying that all blood is red. And you're probably thinking, uh, but in the textbook the blood over here in the veins is blue. No. All blood is red. It is drawn blue in textbooks, so you can work out where the oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood is. Oxygenated blood is this bright red color. Deoxygenated blood is a dark red color. Uh, so it'd, in the diagram, it would be a little bit confusing if there was bright, blood, bright red on one side and dull red on the other side, and you had to work out where the different one was. So we use blue uh, to show that deoxygenated blood. Alternatively, you might be looking at your wrists and going, but I can see my veins and they're blue. And this is because of the way that light, uh, in particular white light, and the wavelengths uh, that are absorbed and reflected. Uh, so when you are looking at your veins, uh, the reflection that is happening is of the blue wavelength, so you're seeing blue, uh, while those red wavelengths are absorbed. Uh, so all blood is red. Now we can move on. So plasma makes up about 55% of the total blood. And you can see this test tube of my blood over here. Um, now, what I'll just point out is that this is the plasma, this straw-colored liquid at the top. It is mainly made of water, uh, but has in it uh, called things called plasma proteins, uh, as well as dissolved materials. We've got the red part, which I'll talk about later. Now, just so you don't get confused, this white part here is actually a gel uh, that comes in this test tube and it's in there to separate the uh, plasma from the red blood cells. So don't be looking at this diagram or this picture rather and think, uh, well, Mr. Catterson's got a lot of white blood cells. Okay, that white bit is um, just gel and we'll see when we get to the leukocytes uh, how small that percentage actually is. Uh, the thing about plasma is that it is a liquid and it is the liquid that everything else is carried in. So the three other components of blood are actually solid, actual, like, chunky things. Uh, and the plasma is what carries it around uh, the body. Okay, erythrocytes, or red blood cells. Uh, you can see here about 45% of the blood. So a fair portion of the blood is red blood cells. Their job is to carry oxygen around the body. So from the lungs to the body cells where that oxygen is needed. They have the shape of, that we refer to as a biconcave disc. Uh, so basically this looks like you know, a donut but without a hole in it uh, or like a hockey puck and if you squeeze the top and bottom. Uh, and this shape is good for a couple of reasons. It's round uh, so it can get... Uh, a, um, so it doesn't get stuck on things or it doesn't have sharp corners. But also this biconcave shape, so having that uh, depression in the center means that the red blood cell can actually twist physically. And this means that it reduces its uh, likelihood of getting stuck when it gets into a traffic jam with other red blood cells. The red blood cells or erythrocytes uh, contain hemoglobin. Uh, and we'll look at another video later on hemoglobin. and the Red blood cells or the erythrocytes are what gives blood its red color. Okay, remembering that all blood is red. Okay, leukocytes. Leukocytes are the white blood cells. Now, as I said before, this the jelly thing here is not uh, the white blood cells. The white blood cells are actually sitting in a very thin layer on top of that gel that is referred to as a buffy coat. Um, and that buffy coat is less than 1% of the total amount of blood, most of that being the uh, white blood cells or the leukocytes. And there are multiple different types of white blood cells. All of them are involved in attacking disease within the body, um, but there's lots of different types, neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, monocytes, um, macrophages. So all these uh, leukocytes that uh, attack disease and keep you healthy uh, all have specific roles and a long time in the future we'll look at those specific roles and how that actually works. Uh, but at this stage if you know that the leukocytes are the white blood cells and they fight disease, 
we're good to go. Okay, now platelets. Platelets are only a very, very small fraction of the total amount of blood, but they are very important. Uh, and they're made of uh, tiny fragments of those leukocytes, or white blood cells. So as they um, break down, uh, they're kept as platelets in the body, and they're very important in the clotting of blood. So this is when you cut yourself uh, so that that cut stops bleeding, uh, and they release a whole heap of um, factors uh, that help with that clotting of blood. In this video, we have looked at the components of blood. We've talked about blood being red, all blood being red, oxygenated blood being bright red, deoxygenated blood being dull red, but all blood being red. Plasma being a straw-colored liquid that carries the other things or components around, are the erythrocytes, the red blood cells that contain homo hemoglobin to carry oxygen, uh, the leukocytes, the white blood cells that attack uh, invading molecules and prevent disease within your body, uh, and platelets which are very important for blood clotting so that you don't bleed out when you scrape your knee. Thanks for watching guys. Peace out.